Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning and welcome to the third day of the 43rd session of the European Commission on Agriculture. My name is Marius Georgiadis and I am the chairperson of the Commission. Today we are conducting the session which has held on the 27th and the 28th of September in Budapest. As you may recall, the Commission has successfully conducted its debate on almost all agenda items of the session, except for the last one, review and adoption of the report, due to the fact that the session was adjourned. Uh, we are now moving to the adoption of the report of the 43rd session of the Commission on Agriculture. The Secretariat uh, has made the draft report available to members in all four official languages of the Commission on 28 September in Budapest. This report has been supplemented only with details on the results of the elections. The supplemented version of the report has, was reviewed by rapporteurs and was shared with the members prior to this part of the session. The draft report of the session was introduced to the Commission on 28 September by the rapporteurs. Please let me remind you that day two of the session has ended with a request that the report be adopted through voting and block. As this could not be done on 28 September due to the lack of quorum, should the Commission still wish to move for the vote on the adoption of the report, we could do so. However, should the Commission wish to adopt the report by acclamation, I'm in your hand. Prior to opening the floor for any comment, I would like to give the floor first to the Russian Federation to inform the Commission if the request for the adoption of the report through voting and block still stands. Russian Federation, you have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Tanya Henny, could the speaker please be able to put her camera on? Could the speaker please put her camera on? But the connection here is not very really, is not very really stable, and the camera may kick me out of the system. So uh, I uh, switch the camera off, but I'd like to be able to put it on during my statement. I'm very sorry, I'm sorry, my answer work. Uh, please bear with me until I fix the issue. I'm sorry. Uh, Russian Federation, please try again and let me confirm if it if, if were uh, worth your time. I'm starting to show us. Um, it I'm ready to switch on but at the same time because the uh, combination of the two I don't work this time uh, you may proceed to Russian Federation and please accept my apologies for the it's a challenge first and foremost our delegation would like to thank the whole team for the work which has been done. 
um, for providing the text of the report. And I'd like to explain the following. We requested a vote on the whole text. Because that was the only possibility for our delegation to be assured that our text is duly reflected in the report. All participants were well recalled that uh, we waited for a long time to hear from the legal service regarding our proposal, and a lot of time was wasted as a result. And of course, for us it would be very important to be convinced that our position is faithfully reflected in the report. At present, having read the text of the report, we see that our delegation could agree to adopting the report for vital vote on condition that uh, paragraph 22b and 22c will contain a footnote. To the effect that the mandate of the Commission does not provide for describing conflicts uh, as wars, in particular, if this has legal implications, legal consequences. If such a footnote is made, then we are ready to adopt the report without a vote. If our proposal uh, happens to be problematic, then we are ready to put the, vote, the, the report on block to a vote. Thank you. Thank you, Federation. Now, floor for any other comments, then we will go to my Uh, I actually read the clapping uh, or pressed the, cla the clapping icon rather than requesting the floor. But on behalf of the European Union and the 27 member states, I'd like to say that the proposal just made by the Russian delegation is something we oppose and therefore we would prefer for, uh, we would prefer a vote on the report. Member States, I would now like to give the floor to Ukraine. Ukraine, you have the floor. Thank you. 
we also joined the position of the EU regarding this proposal, so I'm just going to review this. And uh, before starting to vote on block for the report, we have some uh, small amendments to the text of the report. We see that uh, the report is quite good reflect, reflect our discussions, but uh, some, some, some items uh, are missing. Our discussions there yeah, of deliberation. Thank you. Um, thank you, Ukraine. I see no one is asking for the floor, so I will take it in order. A proposal was made by the Russian Federation. Um, I can see that it, it is proposed. Uh, so I will not go forward with this proposal. And uh, I also have a suggestion from the uh, Ukraine for an amendment for, of the report. I haven't uh, got a solid um, proposal yet, so if uh, Ukraine has a suggestion to make, now is the time. I would like to give the floor back to Ukraine for any uh, solid proposal or suggestion. Ukraine has the floor. Thanks. Uh, the only one amendment to the item number 22 on the page 6 of the report. Uh, after this, para 8, We would like to add uh, additional para A B, and uh, the wording of this para is always strongly condemned Russia's aggression against Ukraine, its systematic attacks on port infrastructure, grain transport and storage facilities in Ukraine. And call, and call upon Russia to immediately cease hostilities in order to fully resume agricultural production and its unimpeded export from Ukraine. So, Mr. Chair, I, I send uh, the draft of our amendment to you. According to the rules, is it enough for uh, submission to the report? Thank you, Ukraine. Thank you for the proposal. I would suggest, in order for the whole membership to see the proposal, I would suggest that it is shared through the chat. And I would also uh, like to add that the, um, uh, the report, before being uh, amended and shared with membership, the supplemented report was shared with the rapporteurs who had the opportunity to review all the items uh, on the report and check whether everything was reflected um, I can see that your suggestion wasn't included in the report after a viewing, after the review of, um, of the report. This is one point. And I would also like to explain um, that this, in this agenda item, where we are adopting the report, making sure that it reflects well, the discussions during the session. However, we cannot introduce new 
items that were not raised in the discussions. And at this point, I would like to ask the leaders service for an opinion on this issue. And for this reason, the reason I would like to give the floor to Ms. Martha Pato from the office, from the legal office. Uh, Ms. Pato, you have the floor. Gracias, señor presidente. Um, confirmo lo que usted acaba de mencionar. Desde una perspectiva jurídica, los informes eh, de las eh, comisiones u otros órganos de la FAO deben contener eh, las conclusiones de las discusiones que hayan sido mantenidas durante la sesión, así como eh, conclusiones o recomendaciones que se haya hecho durante eh, la reunión misma. Mm. A estos efectos, eh, to this end, I wasn't present during the debate, but I understand that this was not mentioned during the Budapest meeting. Consequently, perhaps at this juncture, I should give you the floor yourselves, uh, Chair, or we may need to check this with the rapporteur, uh, the rapporteurs to confirm or ascertain whether this was actually said during the meeting or not. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Parko, for uh, mention and the opinion of the legal office. I see Spain asking for the floor, so I give the floor to Spain. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. Thank you, Chair. On behalf of the EU and its 27 member states, we would like to express our explicit support for the content of the message uh, suggested by the delegation of Ukraine. However, thank you for consulting the legal service. Nonetheless, we would like a full legal opinion on this proposal. So we would like to have a clear expression of the legal offices. Thank you, Spain. I now take uh, Ukraine. I think it's a clear person. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Thomas. Well known, but uh, I would like to stress that that uh, the special and substance of this amendment was really discussed. And uh, this issue raised by uh, several delegates, that their statements. So, uh, once again, we discussed this issue and uh, we raised some concerns on this. Thank you. Thank you, Ukraine. I would now like to give a thought to the Russian Federation. Please come. Thank you, Chair. First of all, I would like to say, first of all, that it seems to me that I'm not sure everybody understood, but the point of my statement, there were two parts of what I said. The first part was to the effect that we do not fully agree with the content of paragraphs 22, B, and C. And therefore, we are calling for a footnote with our national position on this one. The second part of my proposal was that if that is acceptable to everyone, all 
the Medical Commission, then we would be ready to adopt the report without any vote. So those two things are valid. Now, if I've correctly understood the delegate of Spain speaking on behalf of the EU and its 27 member states, the sound is breaking up. If I correctly understood, then I sound of Britain. I think I issued it for permission to sound of Britain. I can repeat. My initial responsibility were the two parts. First part was on a foot to paragraph 20 E, B, and C. Second part of our proposal consisted of if there is uh, such a footnote, then we could adopt the report by consensus. And in response, the European Union, I understand that the EU wishes to adopt the report by vote. So it's not clear to me the face of the footnote which my delegation is devoting. I would like to hear the uh, findings of the legal authority. Yeah, has the delegation have the right to uh, propose a footnote if that footnote contains the position, the national position of a member state? That's the first part of my question. The second part is that we come to adopt the report, the text of which was circulated in advance. And all delegations agree to that text. And now, the delegation of Ukraine is introducing a new paragraph into the text. That means that this is already a new report, because it's a new paragraph. Uh, and I repeat, it's not a footnote in this case, but a new paragraph, which all the members of the Commission are being asked to sign up to, and for my point of view, that radically changes the situation. And in this regard, once again, we request the full legal opinion of the legal advisor. Oh, if there's a new paragraph introduced into the text of the report, not a footnote, but a new paragraph, can that be uh, understood as meaning there's been a major change to the text and the whole report needs to be considered anew. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wilson, for the clarification. And we have questions to the legal office. Well, I would like to call rapporteurs first to call to the report to the legal office to confirm whether the question of Ukraine was indeed mentioned during the meeting or not. This point well in the hands of the rapporteurs. If they are kind enough to provide us with this information, we can take it from there and work forward. I see the Russian Federation asking for the floor, please. 
Благодарю вас, господин председатель. Ah, yes, I see the flag of Spain. Spain, please, you have a floor. Yes, well, tell you that uh, of course, uh, you were calling for rapporteurs, and uh, I'm not in Mikhail's room, so I, I'm in Mikhail's premises, so I cannot share. Uh, I would not be able to join you. However, if uh, ever it's, it's of, of uh, any help, we can say that, um, and we can just can vouch for, for uh, the EU and its 27 member states declaration, where in our point five, we, uh, we stated about the, uh, our concern about the recent uh, Russian attacks on grain transport and storage infrastructure in Ukraine and underlining that the loss of lives were continuing. So, for the question that you have made about if they were mentioned on these items, uh, this at least from, from the side of the EU and the, and the 27 member states, we, 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 we did mention this, this uh, issue. Thank you, sir. And, uh, of course, yeah, and of course, uh, as uh, we said before, the content of this paragraph would, would be in line with this. Thank you, Spain. Uh, that was very useful. It solves one of the issues. Um, um, we are still waiting for the Russian Federation to arrive at the Ethiopia room and provide their own uh, opinion uh, as a rapporteur this time. Uh, um, I can see the hand of the Russian Federation. So Please, we have a floor. Oh, благодарю вас, господин Which uh, I just like to confirm that uh, I uh, checked with the rapporteur and she'll be coming to the room in a few minutes in order to run the opinion on this issue. Thank you, Russian Federation. Wait um, for the second reporter to arrive. Um, while doing that, I can see my notes that the full legal opinion was asked both by the uh, by Spain. They have the UN, the 20, 27 member states on uh, the way forward, and by the Russian Federation. On the issue of uh, the addition of a new paragraph and the issue of uh, the right of a member state to uh, ask for the uh, for a footnote in order to uh, express their opinion on uh, paragraph 22 B and C. I would 
therefore like to uh, pass the floor to Ms. Parto to uh, enlighten us on uh, these issues. Ms. Parto. Gracias, señor presidente. Thank you, Chair. I'll begin, begin in order. Firstly, the point from Spain requesting the big lobster's opinion. With respect to the issue of the possibility of including in the report Ukraine's proposal. And I repeat what I said, I may not have been clear enough. The report of the meeting must include the discussions and conclusions of the meeting itself. Anything that wasn't mentioned during the meeting should not appear in the report. As regards the two questions asked by the Russian Federation, First day on the footnote issue proposed by the Russian Federation, and I would refer to the rules of procedure of the European Commission on Agriculture, Rule 8, Paragraph 1, which states that the Commission shall approve a report embodying its views, recommendations, and decisions, including when requested. A statement of minority views. So I confirm that if the Russian Federation is proposing something in the footnote which reflects its minority view, that can be done. As regards the other question, I think that was already answered on the issue of including or being able to include the Ukrainian proposal. I can only refer to what I said earlier. You can only include in the report things which were discussed during the meeting, during the session itself. Thank you very much for your intervention. Next question. as a picture, pretty much. And at this point, I would like to give the floor to the second rapporteur from the Russian Federation in order to uh, confirm as a uh, previous rapporteur from Spain whether the proposed paragraph, elements of the proposed paragraph were mentioned during uh, the me meeting. Russian Federation, you have the floor. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. I was the second rapporteur, and I'd like to say that during the meeting, uh, what was discussed is what was initially reflected in the report as it's been submitted to the participants today. The Russian Federation also put forward a paragraph uh, on sanctions which nonetheless was rejected. So, as far as additional uh, paragraphs are concerned, we don't think that is advisable uh, from our standpoint of that is your position. Thank you, Russian Federation. Uh, now, in order to resume with the transfer, First rapporteur from Spain confirming that the um, suggestion from Ukraine was mentioned during the meeting. Therefore, after the confirmation uh, from the legal office, in the clear opinion based on the rule of procedure um, before, before I complete my thought, I would like to give the floor to the Russian Federation. Please, you have the floor. Благодарю вас, господин председатель. 
well, you know, we have a very strange dialogue in this place because at the statement of the litigation of Spain, uh, it was said that there was indeed uh, a statement made by Ukraine and a statement by Spain on behalf of the EU uh, regarding uh, the situation in Ukraine at the same time. Much has been said in different statements during the session on the very uh, different issues, and not just on Ukraine. Nonetheless, a draft report was submitted, and the rapporteurs worked on that report with the Secretariat. And uh, at no stage was a, a separate paragraph of this kind proposed. But moreover, Neither the Ukrainian delegation nor the EU delegation uh, seem to be uh, troubled by this fact because uh, the initial report was proposed for adoption on the 28th of September. And uh, up until the adoption, none of these delegations proposed any additions to the text. After this, a month more had passed, and again, none of those delegations introduce additional text. And now, when we're meeting, in order to adopt the report, we're seeing a new proposal. And in this regard, once again, I would like to turn to the legal advice. The appearance of a new paragraph in the text, in this case, is it legally justified and correct if throughout the whole process of uh, agreement on the text and the possibilities for substantively amending the text, none of those delegations made such a proposal. Moreover, prior to the statement of uh, Ukraine, the EU said that they would like to adopt the report by a vote on block, in other words, without the paragraph which has now just been put forward by Ukraine. So in this regard, I have a serious question as to exactly what text we'll be voting on now. Thank you uh, for consideration. I can see screen. I can go to book. The UK. The UK has to go to book. The EU has to go to Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, good morning to everybody. So um, as far as the UK is concerned, we are meeting here this morning in order to um, agree the report. And the opportunity to meet allows uh, for any member to put forward language um, to be included as part of that report. Um, as the legal advisor has confirmed to us all, um, that language would, of course, need to reflect uh, discussions that actually took place during the course of the meeting. Um, we have confirmed that that has um, been reflected in the language provided. The language has been provided in a very open and transparent manner um, by doing that in, in the course of this plenary session. Um, and we are ready to support that language um, as proposed by Ukraine. Thank you very much. Thank you, United Kingdom, um, for your intervention. So now I have a request by the floor to the legal office in to uh, justify if it's legally, if it's legally justified to insert a new paragraph. I think that this has also already been answered, but I would like to pass a vote to the legal office to express its opinion on, on this one. Uh, Thank you, Chair. Well, I would refer back to what I said before. The report should include the conclusion of deliberations at the session. Thank you. Thank you. 
thank you. Thank you, Ms. Arte. Uh, let me come back to you in a second. Yes. yes. Uh, at this point, yes, I can see Spain asking for the floor. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. Siento volver a, volver a tomar la palabra. Eh, solamente era para comentar que eh, el hecho de que este texto no estuviera. Uh, the fact that this text was not in the report which was uh, presented for adoption at the end of the session does not mean that we cannot introduce it now. So we understand that this reference we made earlier should be a sufficient basis. According to the advice given by the legal office, that should survive for us to be able to introduce this uh, text in the light of what was said at the plenary meeting. Uh, by uh, ourselves on behalf of the European Union. Thank you, Spain. Thank you so much. Uh, go now back to the Russian Federation. Now the floor. Thank you, Chair. Given that a number of delegations have uh, proposed uh, a text uh, which uh, has not been uh, proposed earlier, we have our, uh, which do uphold our own right to introduce our own text based on the statement made by our delegation uh, more than once during the session. And it would be the text which uh, we had initially prepared as a footnote. And my colleague who is in the room can then give you this text. And the gist of it is that the Commission has no mandate to describe conflict as war, especially in the light of the legal consequences and implications of using such a description. That text will be handed to you now, and we will call for this text to be included in the body of the report. Thank you. Thank you for that consideration. And see Spain asking for the floor. Spain, please. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. Thank you, Jan. Gracias por su eh, generosidad. Eh, Thank you, Jan. Uh, agradecemos a... We thank the Russian Federation for its proposal. And as happened at the Budapest session, we understand that in this case, this is the expression of a minority view, and it should be reflected, as is their right, as a footnote, as happened during the last moments of the session in Budapest. So that is the proposal we would like. Thank you, Spain. I would like to also give the talk to the Russian Federation and also ask the Russian Federation if they trust the new lady now. If, uh, uh, let's suppose, from, from your side is accepted, would you accept the insertion of the paragraph of uh, Ukraine? Thank you. 
Я не вполне поняла, уважаемый господин. So this part of Ozalam just trying to understand the previous intervention, and you said as a counter proposal, you are now proposing that the text, which was meant to be inserted as a footnote, is inserted as a paragraph since the Ukraine proposal could it stands. I mean, uh, the paragraph in Ukraine could be accepted by the commission to be inserted in the text. And I'm asking if your counter proposal is if uh, the paragraph from Ukraine is finally accepted, if this means that you could go along the paragraph of Ukraine having your own paragraph in the same uh, in 22, paragraph 22. This is what I'm just trying to understand, and this is not a, a proposal, just to clarify. Thank you. Благодарю вас, господин Кичаев. My understanding is follows. Uh, now we open up a which is a forward for adoption with the submission by Ukraine, with the support of the 27 member states of the EU and other countries, to introduce the new paragraph. And we're therefore introducing our own new paragraph in the text, and we will give you the precise wording of that uh, text. Okay. Uh, text as we Continue with the session and let me check So now at this point it was made clear that the minority view of a member state could be uh, inserted as a footnote. It's legally allowed. That one is clear. It's also it was also said that uh, the uh, proposal from Ukraine since uh, it was mentioned during the meeting. It could also be the subject of insertion in the report. And now we have another proposal from the Russian Federation for a text that uh, is also included in the report. This is where it stands. As the floor of the check my list to the Russian Federation to, uh, to clarify. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, so your uh, comment and the comment of the big advisor are things which I have to say I don't agree with. Because the legal advisor uh, referred to Rule 8, Paragraph 1 of the Rules of Procedure. And so the last question to the legal advisor is uh, whether it, it says the statement of minority views should be in a footnote, or is that just your interpretation? Could you read out in full the paragraph regarding the reflection of minority views and state whether it says anything there about the footnote? Thank you, Russian Federation. Uh, I will now pass the floor as your request to the legal office. Ms. Parker, you have the floor. Gracias, señor presidente. Um, yo nunca dije que I la... never said that statements of minority views have to be reflected in a footnote. That is uh, established practice, it's custom practice for this to go into footnote. Because there are many member states who may wish to present their minority views, uh, and it 
they were all put in a report per se, then you would have a very lengthy report containing minority views. This is the custom in the organisation to put this in the footnote. But um, I made a reference to that fact in my statement. I said, uh, minority views can be reflected in the report. According to the decision of the Commission, it says, as may be decided by the Commission. Thank you. It's important clarification for the Commission to decide where to insert uh, any proposal, any views uh, from the discussions uh, during the meeting. So it could be uh, inserted in the paragraph, in the report, or as a bit. This is for the Commission to decide. So, um, I hope this, uh, this is clear. Mm, yes, we have Spain asking for the flow. Sí, señor presidente, muchas gracias de nuevo para clarificar eh, esta situación eh, y siguiendo eh, los consejos que nos han dado legales y los propios, la propuesta de la Unión Europea es, decir, que te, claro, es eh, clara y es que el párrafo propuesto por Ucrania sea parte del cuerpo del informe que eh, la expresión de minoría expuesta por eh, nuestra colega eh, rusa eh, se incluya como un pie de página tal y como es eh, habitual en FAO para este tipo de, eh, de adiciones a un texto de informe muchas gracias señor presidente Um, as you mentioned, yes, it's, it's established practice. It's practice. It's not uh, the legal. Uh, it's not included in the rules of procedure of the basic text. It's a useful practice. Uh, but now I'm, I'm afraid that we are following the rules of procedure and the basic text of FAO. So it's the right of each member state to ask for the insertion of their comments, their views in the report, and it's the obligation of the mission to decide if and where this should be uh, inserted. And I hope this helps the situation. And this is where we stand with the point. And I don't know if it's the text from uh, the proposal from the Russian Federation has been shared. Okay, I'm notified that it, uh, it's going to be shared soon in, in the chat. Um, for the time being, this is where we stand. And I can see the Russian Federation asking for the floor. I pass the floor to the Russian Federation. Благодарю вас, господин председатель. And it doesn't have to be a problem. Now, I won't take up your time uh, giving you various examples. Whether you could, for example, look at the text in the, the final report of the 50th session of the Committee on World Food Security, the text on sanctions. I could give you uh, plenty of other examples about the U U how the US position is reflected in different paragraphs. Of the FAO document and CFS document, but I think uh, we can basically uh, leave that to the next meeting, the next session. 
But um, I would like to make it clear that this is not a proposal, it's an actual demand. Uh, since the rules of procedure do not stipulate that minority views should be reflected in this footnote, we are calling for the same procedure as what happened at the end of October when we uh, suspended the session. So I am insisting that our paragraph go into the text, and after that, the Commission uh, would reflect its procedural position on this text, after which, uh, and after the final vote, it would be reflected in one way or another in the report. Thank you, Mr. Asking for the floor. Ukraine, please. During the current discussion, uh, I have a question, or maybe I'm wrong, uh, be correct me, uh, but the uh, decision is already made in September where should be a proposal or a position of action for the rest of people, should learn to people. Am I right or not? We pass it to the Russian Federation. Thank you, Ukraine. Благодарю вас, господин председатель. In the current version of the footnote, so this would be a new paragraph, which uh, is being put forward just as your delegation said. Just the first new paragraph. Bear with us for a moment, and we will resume.
Ja, Kollegs. Die Transition in Ethiopien in der linken Stadt. He has shared the text, uh, the request from the Russian Federation to insert this text in the report as a paragraph. So we stand at this point now, which is the following. We have a paragraph proposed by the uh, by Ukraine, a new paragraph uh, of the Russian Federation. And if you agree on the insertion of both paragraphs, we could adopt the report and block. Spain? Thank you again, sir. From that standpoint, we insist and we understand the position of our colleagues that our proposal is that, as it appears in the text, En el texto propuesto, dice que la Federación Rusa declara que eh, nuestra propuesta es que sea coherente con el resto del, del texto, que ya está eh, aprobado, que no es así, pero que, que ya hemos tratado, eh, y se mantiene como una nota a pie de página el texto propuesto para la Federación Rusa. El otro uh, texto puesto uh, que coincide con uh, las declaraciones anteriormente uh, justificadas, entendemos que tiene sentido que es, uh, se incorpore al informe final como parte del cuerpo del for your position and I now give the floor to Russian Federation. Thank you, Chair, and I thank the Commission of State for expressing its opinion. Nonetheless, I repeat our opinion. The text of the report was agreed the day that text has been reopened and a new paragraph has been added. I understand that this paragraph has been put forward by a group of countries. One put it forward and several others uh, approved it. Nonetheless, the rules of procedure allow us to put forward our paragraph, which is what we've done by forwarding to you the text. Now, if the members of the Commission don't agree with us regarding the form, the way the reflection of text don't agree to it being included um, in the text of say there's uh, a procedure and we need to get to that thank you uh, so this is where we stand at the point uh, I would like to offer us a way out for your consideration you have both proposal as a group now. Take a moment, think about it. Mm, we are here. It's I mean your hand. And we can take it from there.
Gelenk und die Standard spricht die Katastrophe. Y le agradecemos especialmente sus esfuerzos por conseguir el consenso. Lamentablemente, la situación en sí mismo eh, no, no, no permite eh, esta, esta situación, ya que el párrafo propuesto por, por Ucrania no es una minoría, sino es una situación ampliamente apoyada, mientras que la otra ex, eh, el otro párrafo que se pretende añadir sí es una situación minoría. Por tanto, consideramos que no deben estar en el mismo nivel y eh, en este sentido la propuesta nuestra es clara es que, por una parte, el texto propuesto por el Corán de la Fidelitas Cuerpos, el texto propuesto por la Fidelitas Rusa, debería ir como pieza. En este caso, entendemos que desde la presidencia eh, se deben tomar las decisiones eh, que se consideren eh, para resolver eh, este dilema. Should, uh, should follow that uh, process before we go to Thank you, Spain. And I'll give the floor to the Please. Uh, thank you, Spain. Uh, and I'll you at the same time. We have the rules of procedure, and the rules of procedure clearly state that uh, minority views must be reflected, and as regards the form by which they are reflected, is at the discretion of us, the members of the Commission. And since there is no consensus on reflecting the form reflected, we need to uh, take a procedural decision, and that procedural decision was triggered at the end of um, October 1st figure when we suspended our session. And I can't see any problem with that uh, with uh, sticking to that procedural decision at the end of the session when it was suspended. Thank you, Dr. Okay, as you understand, there are Therefore, we are following the procedures for this kind of debate. Uh, now we stand at this point. We have two proposals. The proposal number one was made by the Ukraine. So we will first address that proposal. And as you understand, we will need to vote on whether uh, the request, the, the text, is going to be inserted in the report or not. Then we will take uh, the next proposal from the Russian Federation in order to uh, decide whether this proposal would also be inserted as a new paragraph uh, in uh, paragraph 22. This is where we stand. At this point, I would like to call the elections officer Mr. Ilya Bertram to come and uh, conduct the voting. Please, Mr. Bertram. Before the elections officer, uh, I would 
and it's clear that we are now going forward for the proposal of Ukraine, uh, which is a request to insert in the text under para A, uh, if I'm correct, let me check the final report. Uh, if I'm correct, then please Ukraine correct me, it is not the case as uh, para A is or is, and then I will continue with the proposal. Yes, Ukraine. Yes, it, it's correct. Uh, we propose A, B, uh, B. Thank you, Ukraine. So the proposal is to insert this text as a new para A, B, and the text reads like this. Um, the Commission strongly condemns Russia's aggression against Ukraine, its systematic attacks on port infrastructure, grain transport, and storage facilities in Ukraine, and call upon Russia to immediately cease hostilities in order to fully resume agricultural production and its unimpeded export from Ukraine. So, if, uh, if we vote yes, that will mean that the report is inserted. We agree to insert this in the paragraph as paragraph A B. If you say if you vote no, that means you don't agree to insert it as paragraph A B. And uh, abstention means abstention. Uh, and at this point, I would like to pass the floor. The election officer, Mr. Ilya Bertem, to conduct all the voting. Thank you, thank you, Chair. Uh, good morning. Uh, yeah. um, as set out in Rule 6, Paragraph 2 of the Rules Procedure of the Commission, uh, decisions are adopted by a majority of the votes cast. Uh, votes cast means affirmative. Uh, plus negative votes and does not include extensions. Um, in the roll call vote that we will conduct, uh, we conduct the roll call vote uh, in light of the online nature of our meeting. This is the only uh, manner of voting to us. In the roll call vote, delegations of commission members will be called out in alphabetical order to give a response yes if the delegation is in favor of the proposal no if the delegation is against, or abstain if the delegation wishes to abstain from the vote. In accordance with paragraph uh, 7 of General Rule 12 of the General Rules of the Organization, the votes of each Commission member participating in the vote by roll call will be included in the record of the session. When it is your turn, please make sure to turn on your microphone. At the conclusion of the first call, the names of commission members who failed to answer will be called again. I should also like to remind delegates that under Rule 12, once voting has commenced, no delegate or representative may interrupt the voting except to raise a point of order in connection with the vote. Um, before we proceed to the vote, um, we have to establish that we have a quorum. Um, I am informed by the Secretariat um, that we have, uh, let me see this again. We have 36 members of the Commission uh, present. Um, the quorum that we need to reach is 22, which is a majority of the representatives of the Commission session. Uh, that means that we have a quorum and that we can proceed to the vote. Um, finally, before we begin, we must determine with which commission member uh, we will begin the roll call vote by the draw of a lot. And I will ask the chairperson to draw this lot. Luxembourg. 
We begin with Luxembourg. Thank you, Chairperson. Um, um, with that, we can proceed. I will call out the Commission members, beginning with Luxembourg, for your votes on the proposal, yes, no, or abstention. Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Yes. No, sorry. I am asking Luxembourg for the vote. We have explained and introduced the yes. vote. Um, uh, I, I, I will, I will uh, leave Luxembourg empty at the moment and call you again in the second round so that you can update yourself. But I'm sorry, we can at this stage of the discussion. Um, Malta. Good morning. Can I get a five minutes, please? And I will get back. Can you call me in a second round? Malta, we will call you in a second round. Monaco. Thank you. Monaco. Moving on to Montenegro. Hi. Montenegro. Hi, I'm here. Hello. Mont what is your vote? Yes, no, or abstention? Uh, can I also be uh, contacted in the second round, please? Move up to Netherlands. The Netherlands votes yes. Netherlands votes yes. North Macedonia. North Macedonia votes yes. North Macedonia votes yes. Norway. Norway. Moving on to Poland. Poland votes yes. Poland votes yes. Portugal. Portugal votes yes. Portugal votes yes. Republic of Moldova. Republic of Moldova, your vote please. Yes, now we're abstention. Yes, hello, can you hear me? Good morning. Hear you. Yeah. You can hear me. When the answer is yes, we're in favor. Republic of Moldova, but yes. Romania. Romania. Moving to Russian Federation. No, against. Russian Federation, but no. Slovakia. Slovakia, yes. Slovenia. Yes, for Slovenia. Slovenia, yes. Spain. Sorry. Yes, is Spain. Sweden. Sweden votes yes. Sweden votes. Switzerland. Switzerland. Moving on to Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Moving on to Turkey. Turkey. Yeah? 
Moving on to Ukraine. Ukraine first, yes. United Kingdom. United Kingdom votes yes. United Kingdom votes yes. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Moving on to Armenia. Armenia. Moving on to Austria. Austria votes yes. Austria votes yes. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Moving on to Belgium. Belgium votes yes. Belgium votes yes. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Moving on to Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Moving on to Croatia. Croatia votes yes. Croatia votes yes. Cyprus. Cyprus votes yes. Czechia. Czechia votes yes. Czechia votes yes. Denmark. Denmark votes yes. Denmark votes yes. Estonia. Estonia votes yes. Estonia votes yes. Finland. Finland votes yes. France. La France votes oui. France votes yes. George votes yes. Germany. Germany votes yes. Germany votes yes. Greece. Yes, the Greece. Greece votes yes. Hungary. Hungary votes yes. yes. Hungary votes yes. Iceland. Iceland. Moving on to Ireland. Ireland votes yes. Ireland votes yes. Israel. Israel votes yes. Israel. Italy. Italy votes votes yes. Italy votes yes. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Moving on to Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Moving on to Latvia. Latvia votes yes. Latvia votes yes. Lithuania. Lithuania votes yes. Lithuania votes yes. That was the first round. I will now start calling out uh, in the same alphabet order, starting with Luxembourg uh, for the second round vote. Luxembourg. Luxembourg votes yes. Malta. Malta votes yes. Malta votes yes. Monaco. Monaco. Moving on to Montenegro. Montenegro votes yes. Montenegro votes yes. Norway. Norway. Moving on to Romania. Romania. 
Romania votes yes. Moving on to Switzerland. Switzerland votes yes. Switzerland votes yes. Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Moving to Turkey. Turkey. Moving on to Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Moving on to Armenia. Armenia. Moving on to Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Moving on to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Moving on to Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Moving on to Iceland. Iceland. Moving on to Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Moving on to Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Thank you. That concludes our voting. Uh, please bear with us for uh, one or two. Romy, that was recorded. Thank you. Uh, please, no further interruptions at this point. Is, uh, we need a few minutes to process the result. The chair will be back with you uh, shortly.
ሰለን ሰልጌት ይሪዱ ማበረሰልን ሰናይ ሰና ደንጻት ስትይነትን ደንጻት አርጋት ሰልጌት ስትይነትን ይስለሰለ number of total votes recorded 35 abstentions 0 votes in favor 34 votes against 1 total votes casted uh, 35 and the majority required 18 and with that the proposed paragraph is adopted Thank the elections officer and new members. Now, before moving to the next vote concerning the request from the Russian Federation to insert the following paragraph, which reads uh, like this The Russian Federation states that according to the FAO Charter and terms of preference of the European Commission of Agriculture, conflicts and their characterization with legal implications are not within the mandate of the European Commission on Agriculture. And I remind you that this uh, proposal is in the chat. Uh, at this point, I would like to ask the Russian Federation where exactly this paragraph, this text, should be placed. Um, is it a new paragraph D? But for this, I need the confirmation of the Russian Federation. Благодарю вас, господин председатель. Да, это новый. Yes. This will be a new paragraph D. Paragraph twenty. Come back to you. Uh, if you open the report, paragraph 22, you will see that it starts with the word of commission. And this proposal starts with the Russian Federation, so there is a conflict in the two terms. Uh, as a result, I would suggest that it's not under paragraph. 22 inserted differently in order not to have the conflict of the Commission and the reference to the Russian Federation. It's two different um, terms. It would change completely the, 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 the meaning. So let's see how this text can be inserted. In, in the report.
this configuration by the block. Suppose now that I I would suggest под пунктом D, но Thank you, Jaya. Just for the sake of clarity, so that all delegations understand, in this case, we're voting on the location of our text, where it will be placed. So, the subject of the vote will be including this proposal in the body of the report. Uh, the vote is about the uh, the suggestion in the report is able uh, to, uh, to approve the insertion of the report in the suggested, suggested position is as a new subpara B. I hope this clarifies the situation. It's about the insertion of the suggestion as the previous vote. Confederation? Mm -hmm. Благодарю вас, господин председатель. Спасибо. Again, we'll uh, ask you for your votes, yes, in favor of insertion of the Russian paragraph in the full body of the report. Uh, no, if you are against that proposal, uh, extension, if you abstain in this vote. Um, the same majority requirement applies, that is, a majority of the votes cast, uh, votes cast not including extensions. Um, voting may only be interrupted uh, to raise a point of order in connection with voting, um, and as we did before, I will ask the chairperson once again to draw a lot to see where we will start uh, calling the members of the ECA.
Thank you, Chair. We begin with the Russian Federation. Before I do that, I would like to reconfirm that there are 36 members of the ECA online. Uh, that means that we have more than 22 of the required uh, number of members of representatives present at this moment. Uh, and we can proceed to this vote. Um, with that, I will now calling out the members of the Russian Russian Federation. Yes. Bosnia. Slovakia. Slovakia votes no. Slovakia no. no. Slovenia. No, for Slovenia. Slovenia votes no. Spain. Spain votes no. Sweden. Sweden votes no. Sweden votes no. Switzerland. Switzerland votes no. Switzerland votes no. Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Moving on to Turkey. Turkey. Moving on to Ukraine. Ukraine, but no. United Kingdom. United Kingdom votes no. United Kingdom votes no. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Moving on to Armenia. Armenia. Moving to Austria. Austria votes no. Austria votes no. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Moving to Belgium. Belgium votes no. Belgium votes no. Bosnia Herzegovina. Bosnia Herzegovina. Moving on to Croatia. Croatia votes no. Croatia votes no. Cyprus. Cyprus votes no. Czechia. Czechia votes no. Czechia votes no. Denmark. Denmark votes no. Denmark votes no. Estonia. Estonia votes no. No, France, uh, sorry, Finland. No. Finland votes no. France. France votes no. France votes no. France votes no. Georgia. Georgia votes no. Germany. Germany votes no. Germany votes no. Three. Three. Votes no. Hungary. Hungary votes no. Hungary votes no. Iceland. Iceland. Moving on. Ireland. Ireland votes no. Ireland votes no. Israel. Israel votes no. Israel votes no. Italy. Italy votes no. Italy votes no. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Moving to Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Moving to Latvia. Latvia votes no. Latvia votes no. Lithuania. Lithuania votes no. Lithuania votes no. Luxembourg. Luxembourg votes no. Luxembourg votes no. Malta. 
Montenegro. Montenegro moves no. Montenegro no. Netherlands. The Netherlands votes no. The Netherlands votes no. North Macedonia. North Macedonia votes no. North Macedonia. No. Norway. Norway. Move it on to Poland. Poland votes no. Poland votes no. Portugal. Portugal. No. Republic of Moldova. Against. Okay. Republic of Moldova votes no. Romania. Romania votes no. Romania votes no. Uh, I will now pull out uh, the second round. Doesn't he did not respond the first time around, mm. starting in this case with Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Move it to Turkey. Turkey. Move it to Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. <coughs> Move Armenia. Armenia. Move it on to Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Move it to Austin, Slovenia. Bosnia, Slovenia. Move it to Iceland. Iceland. Moving on to Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Moving on to Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Moving on. Monaco. Monaco. Move it up to Norway. Norway. Thank you. That concludes our vote. Uh, please bear with us. So, please submit before the chat.
Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, we will begin again our session and I wish to announce the result of the election current request. Uh, number of total votes recorded 35, 35 abstentions 0, votes in favor 1, votes against 34. The majority required is 18 out of 35 votes trusted. So, the proposal is not adopted. That concludes the voting. And at this point, I uh, would like to add that um, the text the text of the Russian Federation could be inserted as a footnote, as a minority view, uh, in the report, as uh, this was already happened for a similar matter, a similar request uh, in the Budapest session. Uh, it could be inserted or under paragraph 22 as a footnote and the text would be uh, altered a bit in order to fix uh, yeah, to be uh, inserted as a footnote um, okay With, with this um, and based on the discussion that we had today, I propose that the report is adopted in block, including the agreed amendments. I see the Russian Federation asking for the floor, please. Yeah. We would like to hear aloud how you are going to reflect our position in the footnote. Could you read that? the proposed text in the chat and it could be something like this in, in the footnote. The Commission noted that the Russian Federation states that according to the FAO Charter in terms of reference of the European Commission on Agriculture, conflicts and their characterization with legal implications are not within the mandate of the European Commission on Agriculture and decided through a vote by roll call to include it as a footnote in the session's report rather than in the body of the report. Thank you. can see the front asking for the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je laisse d'abord la présidente Monsieur Chamion réagir et ensuite je prendrai la parole. Je vous remercie. Yes, I see that the um, Spanish representative uh, wanted to take the floor. I will speak after him. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, President. Uh, thank you. Gracias, señor presidente, y gracias también a los colegas franceses 
por ceder eh, la palabra a, a la presidencia de turno. No, quisiéramos comentar que eh, entendemos que el texto para incluir al pie de página es el segundo que amablemente ha introducido el señor Gandhi en que expresa una posición de minoría, no el que acaba de meter. O sea, quiero decir, eh, no puede tener que la comisión tomó nota que la Federación Rusa declaró, sino que la nota al pie de página debe ser la Federación Rusa declaró, tal y como había puesto el señor Gandhi en su texto de las 12.23. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I wanted to back up what was uh, uh, just said by the Spanish uh, uh, presidency. A minority point of view cannot be referred to the commission or excluded to the latter. Therefore, the text uh, should be the one that was initially read uh, by Mr. Gantti, the federal, the Russian Federation, as in the end of this. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Prior to the vote, there was a question as to what exactly we're voting on. And the answer I received was that we're voting on the location of the paragraph. And the text was the one. Uh, the vote on the text was on the, the, the location in the text, in the main body of the text, or not in, or in, in the footnote. And my question was not uh, uh, by happenstance. There was a similar situation at the end of the meeting before, and it's pretty crystal clear to us we're talking about the place in the text and not the text per se. So we think that the wording which was read out. And which uh, bring you luck. the fact that the commission did note the same information to the commission. More uh, basically reflects the result of the vote. Thank you for your consideration. Uh, all comments are fully noted. Um, we open the chat now. You can see the final current of those texts for the footnote. Uh, my proposal before was based in the previous footnote, but it's already in the report. I used the same exact wording. Uh, this is now the proposed text. Uh, you can see the under the Russian Federation and the latest kind of a new one, Russian Federation. Thank you. In this regard, I would like to turn to legal advice because I see that the, the rules are being changed. Uh, on a host, so to speak. And we proposed the text. The Secretary said, uh, 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 
the text needed it needed to be suitable, right? Suitably worded, and we worded the text accordingly. And then the question was whether it be in the body of the report or in the footnote. And is that the text which is now going to be uh, voted on? That is what we voted on on about before. We voted on the location. We didn't vote on the actual wording. And now I see how uh, people are basically changing the rules in the middle of the game. And that uh, raises very serious questions. So I turn to a legal advisor. What exactly was put to the vote? Was it the text or was it the location of the text in the report? So that question is here to be Thank you for the consideration. I try to be as clear as possible twice before. So, on the, the vote was on your proposal, was only for your proposal in order to be practical and visible we had to know where it should be placed. So we, we uh, decided to place it as a subparagraph 22b. So the vote was about if the commission approves your request, your proposal, to insert the text in the report as you propose. Uh, there is no second vote going for this one. And now I would like to pass the floor to the legal counsel to uh, maybe explain it better than me in legal terms. Ms. Parker, you have the floor. Well, that's not so much a legal question. I think I understand. what's causing the problem, what's causing the discussion. But I would like to confirm that indeed the vote was on the location of the text. However, it was the text. I began referring to the Commission Mm. And that is why we have to include the words took note. Uh, but now we're talking about um, paragraph 20. We were talking about paragraph 22b at that time. Uh, Once again, Chair, we would like to confirm that the vote, as we understood it, was uh, clearly 34 out of 35 regarding the, the content. Uh, in our case, we knew the 27 other states, we were voting on the content and not at all on the location in the text. <laughs> The body of the okay. uh, France, Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. From a legal standpoint, uh, we voted on two amendments. Uh, the four, uh, one that was adopted, uh, the Ukrainian text, but the other amendment uh, has been rejected. Uh, that was the Russian text. Now I would like for us to proceed to adopt the report as amended. And I ask that we proceed immediately to put to the vote this text, which considers also the footnote that was submitted to us by Mr. Ganji. I really urge us to proceed with the vote. Uh, in France, your call for a vote is duly noted, and I'll pass the floor to the Russian Federation. Thank you, 
Dia kan Tanya Hey Apa yang ada Seperti ini So we fact that they They said Not on the location But on the content I would uh, Request The Records be checked The actual The data To ascertain Because My friend Is breaking up <laughs> Were we voting on a count? And I feel that the text should be reflected in a footnote. It doesn't stop any sort of precedent. That was the situation at the end of September when we suspended the session. If there's no consensus regarding the actual minutes, then I'd like to have a clear answer from the Secretary as to what exactly you voted for. Thank you, Russian Federation. Please bear with us. Just to uh, reiterate that the vote was the same one as the first vote. We didn't have any questions for the first vote. It's the same thing as the first vote. And to reiterate once again, the vote text was on the table. A request was made to insert a text in the report as the first vote. The same procedure was followed, which is we vote if we agree to insert the proposed text, so if we are speaking about the text, in the report. It has to be reflected somewhere. So this would be in the report. This was the request. It was the same proposal as the first one. The same procedure was followed. Now, I will give the first to the legal uh, service. Since the proposal was not approved, it has to be reflected somewhere. It cannot be reflected in the report. Taking it from here, it can be reflected as This is the next report. Uh, just to explain where we are at this point. Let me pass the floor to the legal service for more uh, details. Ms. Pato, you have the floor. Ah, thank you. Gracias, señor presidente. No tengo nada que añadir. Gracias. Thank you, Ms. Pato. I will be here. Flat of Spain. Gracias, Thank you, Chair. Eh, desde luego, estamos totalmente de acuerdo y le agradecemos en la lectura que ha hecho la presidencia eh, sobre la situación. Otro fue sobre si la comisión deseaba introducir en el cuerpo del correo, el cuerpo del, del informe, eh, la, la, el amendment, la, la modificación. Eh, de los colegas rusos y ha sabido que no por tanto eh, esa propuesta ha sido rechazada y ahora 
la Federación Rusa desea incorporar como una expresión de minoría en nota a pie de página su opinión tiene todo el derecho, pero debe ser su opinión. La expresión de minoría no debería en ningún caso ser introducida por la comisión con la nota B. Porque eso no es una expresión de minoría, eso es una expresión de la comisión que acaba de ser rechazada. 34 votos a 1. Con lo cual, eh, insistimos en agradecer a la presidencia su lectura de la situación y cada esta situación pasa precisamente eh, al voto del informe bloque. Thank you, Chair. Firstly, Russian Federation, from the very start, made its position clear in the form of a system. We propose that this text be a separate paragraph in response to the fact that the delegation of Ukraine, with the support of the EU, reopened the court and proposed its new paragraph. After that, we naturally uh, acted according to the same logic for a decision to be placed on that paragraph. And before there was a vote on the Russian paragraph, we asked a question regarding the subject of the voting. And we received an exhaustive reply. Not only ourselves, everybody who took part in the vote received that exhaustive reply. And the situation that is developed. It's basically identical to what happened at the end of September. And you now have the, the text of the footnote in the report under footnote 12. And this is in exactly the same situation. So we see no basis for the Commission now to violate the procedure and the result of the vote and change the text to footnote. It has to be in the wording upon which the vote took place. We wanted it in the main part of the report, but it's going to have to go in the footnote. Now, if we're going to say that footnote was, was adopted uh, by vote, then we need to, to act in the same way as footnote 12. We're ready to go along with that initial question. But now we're seeing a distortion of what the vote was on. That is, the content of the vote and the right of member states to reflect their position. As they wish. Thank you. Clarify that the initial proposal was amended in the report. In the report, because it couldn't stand on its own, even with the National Federation of States, etc., etc. Additional wording was placed before the proposal not to fit in the report in case it was adopted. This was the only reason that the, the wording was placed in the response, just to clarify why this took place. The proposal for the Russian Federation hasn't changed. It's the same. It's the Russian Federation of States, etc., etc. This is the proposal. We haven't altered the proposal. 
that's just for your certification. And again, the words the Commission noted were placed in order to accommodate the proposal request in the report. Um, and with that, I go back to you, Russian Federation. Господин председатель, я отношусь к вашему by me uh, before the new text even emerged as to what, what we were voting on. And after everyone had had a chance to, to look at it, so with all respect to your opinion, I think that at present we, our delegation, need to follow what we went according to the procedure. And we proposed a text, we changed it because it wouldn't fit in the text in its original form. And then we asked the question about the subject for vote, we had an exhaustive reply. And what's being um, attempted now is to depart from the actual state of facts. Two other federations will go back to France. Is that okay? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think that, that uh, I'm a little confused. Uh, I repeat what I said before. We have uh, voted uh, the amendment. Uh, the Russian amendment uh, was rejected. It is the right uh, of uh, uh, the Federation of Russia to have uh, a minority uh, point of view. This uh, point of view is uh, a minority point of view, and it can only reflect uh, the point of view of Russia, the Russian Federation. I therefore once again urge us to put an end to this uh, pointless uh, debate and to proceed uh, without further ado to putting to the vote the report as amended. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Frank. Ukraine, uh, followed by Unblocked. Thank you. Thank you, Ukraine. Russian Federation, please. Every member state has the right to defend its position, and I'm doing this based on the procedure which is ready to be. And I'll nothing more than what is inside in, in the law. But the FAO's proper measures, proper procedure. Okay, let's speak it through. Okay. Uh, 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 uh,
I'm saying it wouldn't kill the uh try to manipulate it. So thanks for that for some time. Thank you for the consideration. Uh is the
Mais oui. alors attendez, parce que eux, je les entends pas du tout. Dear colleagues, thank you for participating uh, in this session. Uh, so, from the previous debate, I think that there is no consensus between members of the Commission uh, to insert the position of the Russian Federation as uh, the Commission noted what the Russian Federation stated or only the view of the Russian Federation. There is no consensus on this one. Therefore, before proceeding, I would like to ask the Russian Federation if there is any other proposal on this one, and then I will propose. I will proceed. Thank you. 
have. So that's the relation there is nothing to be added. We proceed accordingly. I mean, that may ask Chad, I would like to ask for some time to please for the medical delegation as a bad connection uh, and uh, another couple of minutes for her to be present. Господин председатель, глава Благодарю вас, господин председатель, и приношу извинения, что прервалась связь. Thank you, Federation. No. Oh. Oh, Spain. We have Spain. Please. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. Thank you, sir. Eh, para eh, nosotros, eh, lo que refleja realmente For us, la, really lo que ha ocurrido en, en este plenario ha sido que la Federación Rusa ha propuesto un texto para ser incorporado en el cuerpo del informe y eso ha sido rechazado. Por tanto, consideramos que la opción más adecuada ahora es que la presidencia de la ECA eh, proponga un voto sobre el informe en bloque, tal y como está en este momento, incluyendo su nota a pie de página, que diga que la Federación Rusa declara que de esa forma, con este único voto, podríamos resolver eh, todos los, los conflictos eh, de opinión. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, just, just to reiterate that 
indeed the vote was um, on the language uh, proposed to submit in the report that was uh, clearly not accepted. Uh, therefore, we cannot have the footnote as the text stood at that time of the vote. Um, if Russia wishes to include a footnote to reflect their position, um, that is fine. And as uh, was stated by Spain on behalf of the EU and its member states, we could uh, at this stage go forward to vote to agree the text as it stands and conclude the session. Thank you. Thank you, United Kingdom. For the floor, take it to account. All the comments, provisions of the member of the Commission. Uh, I believe that it is in the Commission to decide the wording of how the proposal of the Russian Federation should be included in the treaty. Therefore, I call for a vote a local vote on whether the proposal should start to use the words a commission no vote or not. So if you agree that the proposal starts with the word the commission no vote, you vote yes. If you don't agree with this uh, proposal, you vote no or To go forward with the procedure, I give the floor to the elections officer, Mr. Julia Bertland, to take on the procedure in this case. Mr. Bertland, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> um, I will again uh, provide an introduction of this uh, vote as I did earlier. Um, the proposal, as just formulated by the chair, for it to be adopted would require a majority of the votes cast. Um, the votes cast including uh, votes in favor and votes against, not including abstentions. Um, the voting cannot be interrupted except uh, for a full, for a point of order in connection with the vote. Um, and finally, I would like to uh, recall that we still have a quorum. Uh, we have 36 members present. Uh, which is more than the 22 required under the rules of the Commission. Um, before, to determine where we will begin, I will again ask the chairperson to draw the lock to see where the list is going to stand. Before we initiate, I see both of the Russian Federation and Spain asking for the floor. So before I call for the first country to vote, first take the Russian Federation and Spain after that. Russian Federation, the other Chair, Chair, speaking of breaking out. Could you tell us clearly what text we did on vote on that? What is the wording which you are proposing we vote on that before we actually take the vote this morning? Uh, we'll do that after I take Spain to the Russian Federation. Spain, you have a floor. Uh, I can't have a word, but in any way, we would endorse that request that we have quite a mission about what exactly we vote for in all the terms, what we vote for. In Spain? So, maybe clear. Now, the vote is the following. It considers the insertion in the footnote of this. The Commission took note that the Russian Federation states that according to the FAO, right? So, 
again from the beginning. The Commission took note that the Russian Federation states that according to the FAO basic text, conflict and their characterization with legal implications are not within the mandate of the European Commission on Agriculture. This is what we are voting. If you agree with this text, both text, uh, yes, or you can vote no if you don't agree with this text. If, uh, if the proposal is approved, this will be the text. If it's not approved, the phrase the commission took note will be deleted. And the rest of the text will be inserted as a footnote. This is where we stand at the moment. Uh, I have the UK asking for the floor. UK, please. Thank you for that clarification. Um, it actually raises a question. Um, my understanding from our discussions in this plenary session this morning is that the majority of member states have said that in voting against the text as was proposed, it was not the case that the Commission took note of that at all. And that was not the case in the plenary session that took place in Budapest. Therefore, it's unclear to me why we are having to vote on this at this point. I think the member states have been clear, the Commission has been clear. Um, if the Russian Federation wishes to include a footnote, that is of course their prerogative and that footnote should be very clearly uh, stating that the Russian Federation notes that whatever it wishes to include in that footnote, um, as we have in the text, and we could proceed with simply voting to adopt the, the text as is, rather than having another round of voting on whether to include the, the words the Commission took note, which has already been clarified that the Commission does not take note of that. So I wonder if you might just clarify whether we could instead move forward uh, to agree on the report itself. Thank you very much. Thank you, United Kingdom. Um, I do understand what, you, uh, what you're trying to explain. Unfortunately, we are not in that stage now. We are in a loop, and this will not end. Therefore, I wish to end it by a vote. And this is my way out. I offer you this way out in order to stop debating for this issue, and I hope that you vote, decide on this one, and then we can vote on the report. We close the session, the 41st session of the European Commission on Agriculture. All positions are taken into uh, consideration. All positions are respected. I, as a chair, have mandate to finish this session, and this is the only way out I see in, at this moment. We have to legally uh, be correct and move forward. So please, everyone, let's do these two votings and move forward. It's clear now. Uh, thank you very much for your understanding. The Russian Federation, you have a question. Мы, вы, по-моему, забыли о просьбе текст разместить.
Shaya is adding the step as, as we speak. And the star is in front of you. You can now see the text that we are going to go for. It is a commission signal of the statement of the Russian Federation, but according to the FAA, it's rather in terms of reference of the European Commission agriculture and their characterization with legal implications are not within the mandate of ECA. Again, if you agree with this text, you go on. Okay, another post. Sorry for that. Um, taking advice, the legal advice from the legal service of the FAO, the text reads as follows. The Commission took note of the statement of the 
Russian Federation, that according to the FAO basic text and the terms of reference of the European Commission on Agriculture, conflicts and their characterization with legal implications are not within the mandate of the European Commission of Agriculture. This is the text, this is what we are voting for. If you agree with this text, it is inserted as a footnote in the report, you can vote yes. If you don't agree, you can vote no. Make it clear, because there might be some questions. If it won't be uh, approved, then the words, the Commission took note of the statement of the Russian Federation would be deleted and it will be altered to the original text, to the original proposal, uh, which is also above. Let me copy and paste it here for your reference. Just have it in mind, just for your reference. In, again, in case the proposal is not approved, the last text will be inserted in the footnote. Again, to copy paste is okay. okay, let me report this correctly now. Okay. This will be inserted as a footnote in case, and only in case, the proposed text is not approved. I have the Russian Federation asking for the floor. Is the I apologize, Chair. I didn't ask for the floor, but I would now like to ask you to repeat your final conclusion. Mm. Yes. We yeah, are at this point now. The proposal for a vote now is as follows. The Commission took note of the statement of the Russian Federation that according to the FA text and the terms of reference of the European Commission on Agriculture, conflicts and their characterization with legal implications are not within the mandate of FAC. So, you agree with this proposal, with this text, you vote yes. If you don't agree, you vote no. If the result of the vote is no, that means it's not approved, this text is not approved, then automatically the following text will be inserted in the footnote. It reads like this, the Russian Federation states that according to the FAO text in terms of reference of the European Commission of Agriculture conflict and their characterization with legal implications are not within the mandate of FAC. Make it clear all the voting procedure, all the results of the vote be included in the business for every vote we conduct today. And I think now we can go forward. Okay. 
Before going forward, I have Ukraine asking for the floor. Ukraine, please. Uh, objection to the proposed. The Russian Federation, maybe to use the here is past that they stated that would. Okay, um, the text is in, in the chat. Both texts are uh, in the chat. Just above the last, uh, yes, uh, before the comment from the United Kingdom. United Kingdom, you have the thank, floor. Thank you again. Um, and thank you for posting the proposed uh, text for the inclusion in a footnote. Um, I would agree that, that the wording of that footnote um, should be in the past tense. So the Russian Federation stated that. Um, and just to be clear, it, perhaps one could add, uh, stated that in their opinion, um, and then proceed with reference to the FAO basic text, etc., because I'm not sure that that's clear for everybody. Thank you. Thank you, UK. On the screen, the text, the text is not at a group. These are the ideas that go to the Russian uh, to put it in the past tense. Indeed, we are reflecting what happened during the meeting of the Commission, and it's already happened, in other words. And so, we do indeed need to put it in the past tense. At the same time, we cannot agree with the United Kingdom coming. If, after this vote, the first version doesn't go through the reference to the Commission, and if it's the second passage after this, then that will purely reflect what the Russian Federation stated. And obviously that statement was based on our opinion. So there's no other need for adding anything else into the text. It would be a logical transfer. Thank you, Federation. Yes, indeed, Commissioner. Thank you. What we have said here. And I can proceed with the procedure. So the first country to vote is Ireland. And I pass the floor to the elections officer to initiate the voting. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, I will be calling out uh, the members' names, starting with Ireland, asking for your vote, yes, no, or abstention. Ireland. <clears throat> Ireland votes no. Ireland votes no. Israel. I still need some more information. Second round, please. Italy. 
Italy votes no. Italy votes no. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Moving Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Moving to Latvia. Latvia votes no. Latvia votes no. Lithuania. Lithuania votes no. Lithuania votes no. Luxembourg. Luxembourg votes no. Luxembourg votes no. Malta. Malta votes no. Malta votes no. Monaco. Monaco. Moving on to Montenegro. Montenegro. Moving on to Netherlands. The Netherlands votes no. Netherlands votes no. North Macedonia. North Macedonia votes no. North Macedonia votes no. Norway. Norway. Moving on to Poland. Poland votes no. Poland votes no. Portugal. Portugal votes no. Portugal votes no. Republic of Moldova. Sorry. Could you repeat the Republic of Moldova? Against. Republic of Moldova, but no. Romania. Romania, but no. Romania, but no. Russian Federation. Yes. Russian Federation, but yes. Slovakia. Slovakia votes no. Slovakia votes no. Slovenia. Slovenia votes no. Slovenia votes no. Spain. Spain votes no. Spain votes no. Sweden. Sweden votes no. Sweden votes no. Switzerland. Switzerland votes no. Switzerland votes no. Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Moving on to Turkey. Turkey. Moving on to Ukraine. Ukraine for no. United Kingdom. United Kingdom votes no. United Kingdom votes no. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Moving on to Armenia. Armenia. Moving on to Austria. Austria votes no. Austria votes no. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Moving to Belgium. Belgium votes no. Belgium votes no. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Moving on to Croatia. Croatia votes no. Croatia votes. Croatia votes no. Cyprus. Cyprus votes no. Czechia. 
Czech Republic votes no. Czech Republic votes no. Denmark. Denmark votes no. Denmark votes no. Estonia. Estonia votes no. Estonia votes no. Finland. Finland votes no. Finland votes no. France. La France votes no. France votes no. France votes no. Georgia. Georgia votes no. Germany. Germany votes no. Germany votes no. Greece. Greece votes no. Greece votes no. Hungary. Hungary votes no. Hungary votes no. Iceland. Iceland. Thank you. I will now call out members who did not reply in the first round, in the second round that I'm starting right now. I was starting with Israel. Israel votes no. Israel votes no. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Moving to Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Moving on to Monaco. Monaco. Moving on to Montenegro. Montenegro votes no. Montenegro votes no. Norway. Norway. Moving on to Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Moving on to Turkey. Turkey. Moving on to Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Move on to Armenia. Armenia. Move on to Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Moving on to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Moving on to Iceland. Iceland. Thank you. That closes the vote. Um, please bear with us for a few minutes while we close the vote. Thank you.
Hej. Otvíš do lahnutky vnútro. So, number of total votes is quoted 35, votes in favor 1, votes against 34, abstentions 0, the required majority is 18 out of the 35 votes casted, therefore the proposal is rejected. Thank you, and thanks to the elections officer. Now, let's move forward. In line with the requests made during the session, we now proceed to the... I propose that the report is adopted and block, included the agreed amendments, and as requested during this session, uh, a voting will take place. So, if you agree with the adoption of the report and block, including the agreed amendments, you can vote yes. If you don't agree to be voted and block, you vote no. Before going forward, I would like to give the floor to the Russian Federation. Please, do you have the floor? Thank you, sir. This is clarifying. Proposal is now to adopt the report on block. Is that your proposal as chair of the meeting? No, uh, this was not my proposal. Uh, I had a request from Member State of the Commission, the European Commission on Agriculture, to adopt the report in block. But before doing that, we sorted out the matter of footnotes, and now we are in position to go forward with this proposal, the voting of the report and block. Thank you. Okay. So, Talking about a procedure to adopt by vote on block. Is that correct? Yes, we have a right to working for the Thank you. Yeah. So, I think we, now we are in a position to uh, go forward to conduct the voting. I would like to give the floor to our beloved elections officer <laughs> who is working overtime today to conduct the vote. Mr. Beth, you have the floor. Thank you for your kind words, sir. Mr. Chair, I'll uh, summarize again the voting procedure uh, briefly. Uh, also, this vote requires a majority of votes cast, um, votes cast including votes in favor and votes against, but not including abstention. And on that basis, we will establish the majority. Um, we have had no information from the Secretary about the present members, so we still uh, have 36 members present. More than 20 required under the rules of the Commission. Uh, I will be calling out uh, the remaining PCA members in order uh, for asking for once again no abstention, as we have done earlier, and I will ask uh, once again to determine who is going. From Monaco. 
Thank you, Jeff. I will now um, open the voting, and as just given by the chair, Monica. Monaco. Moving to Montenegro. Montenegro. Moving to Netherlands. Netherlands votes yes. Netherlands votes yes. North Macedonia. North Macedonia votes yes. North Macedonia, Norway, Norway, North 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 Poland, Poland votes yes, Poland votes yes, Portugal, Portugal votes yes, Republic of Moldova, Yes. Moldova vote yes. Romania. Romania vote yes. Romania vote yes. Russian Federation. Against. Russian Federation vote no. Slovakia. Slovakia vote yes. Slovakia vote yes. Slovenia. Slovenia vote yes. Slovenia vote yes. Spain. Spain votes yes. yes. Spain votes yes. Sweden. Sweden votes yes. Sweden votes yes. Switzerland. Switzerland votes yes. Switzerland votes yes. Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Moving to Turkey. Turkey. Move on to Ukraine. Ukraine votes yes. United Kingdom. UK votes yes. United Kingdom votes yes. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Moving on to Armenia. Armenia. Moving on to Austria. Austria votes yes. Austria votes yes. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Moving on to Belgium. Belgium votes yes. Belgium votes yes. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia-Herzegovina. Moving on to Croatia. Croatia votes yes. Croatia votes yes. Cyprus. Cyprus votes yes. Czechia. Czechia. Czechia votes yes. Czechia votes yes. Denmark. Denmark votes yes. yes. Denmark votes yes. Estonia. Estonia votes yes. Finland. <laughs> Finland votes yes. France. La France votes oui. France votes yes. Votes yes. France votes yes. Georgia. Georgia votes yes. Germany. Germany votes yes. Germany. Yes. Greece. Greece votes yes. Hungary. Hungary votes yes. Hungary votes yes. Iceland. Iceland. Moving to Ireland. Ireland votes yes. Ireland votes yes. Israel. 
Israel Pautsias. Israel Pautsias. Italy. Italy Pautsias. Italy Pautsias. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Moving up to Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Moving to Latvia. Latvia votes yes. Latvia votes yes. Lithuania. Lithuania votes yes. Lithuania votes yes. Luxembourg. Luxembourg votes yes. Luxembourg votes yes. Malta. Malta votes yes. Malta votes yes. That concludes the first round of our round of voting. I want to call the members who did not reply during my first call of votes, starting with Monaco. Monaco. Moving up to Montenegro. Montenegro votes yes. Montenegro votes yes. Norway. Norway. Move it to Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Move it on to Turkey. Moving on to Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Moving on to Armenia. Armenia. Moving to Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Moving to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Moving to Iceland. Iceland. Move it to Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Move it to Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Thank you. That closes the vote. Please bear with us for one or two minutes. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Mr. Pepper. Now announce the results of the voting. So, number of total votes reported 35. Abstentions 0. Votes in favor 34. Votes against 1. Majority required 18 out of 35 votes cast. And with that, the report, the final report is adopted. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, with this, I'm happy to say that we have concluded our business. I uh, can see the rank of federation has been for the floor. Благодарю вас, господин председатель. Thank you, sir. Мы хотели бы выступить с заявлением по the Russian Federation is uh, extremely satisfied with the work of the 14th uh, session of the European Commission on Agriculture. In particular, this pertains to today when the report was adopted on the vertical session. The European Union and its member states, as well as a number of other countries, demonstrated that in actual fact, what, reflecting what in actual fact, rules based order means, with gross violations of the rules of procedure and readjusting them to suit their own interests. So we are extremely dissatisfied. Mm. And even with a numerical majority in the Commission, the European Union and its member states refused to include in the report uh, something which departed from their uh, point of view and Proposed instead that we vote for the report about it. What, uh, what this is, uh, is a demonstration of weakness, as we say things. Uh, a truly strong person doesn't hide behind the backs of a majority and never <coughs> refuses to listen to and take into account an alternative point of view. So thank you for your attention. Once again, I recall uh, recall for this to be appended, uh, expressing our extreme dissatisfaction and the call for this to be appended to the report. Thank you. I now give the floor to Spain. Please. Thank you, Chair. I'll be brief. I simply wish to be on behalf of the EU and the EU member states, our thanks to the entire team that has allowed for a way forward to this conference. Then meeting here in Rome, thanks to your stewardship, Chair. Thank you for all your work throughout the mandate. Now, we are truly pleased and would like to thank you in advance and congratulate you for your future work. Me, Chair from Northern Macedonia, North Macedonia. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, ah, you can see.
Ok, hai să vin în YouTube. Thank you, Marius. Uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm really happy that we managed to conclude the prolonged uh, 43rd uh, session of ECA, and we finally adopted uh, the report. Let me use this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to the member councils for the successful election process on 28th September, and my appreciation for giving me the opportunity to act on behalf of the ECA as a chairperson, along with my colleagues, vice chairperson, and members of the executive committee. I congratulate all of them. I'm honored to be the first among the equals who will be working on the smooth implementation of the program in the future, derived from the priorities and needs of the region. We are aware that in recent years, the Europe and Central Asia region has been affected by several serious shocks and has to cope with multiple crises. A challenging period is ahead, emerging situations to be dealt with, but I'm convinced that with dedicated and hard work, we will manage to achieve successful results. I would also like to use this opportunity to thank FAO for their very fresh and continuous support throughout the year. My special thanks goes to Nabil for his valuable advice and guidance, also to Piotr on behalf of the ECA Secretariat for his hard work and dedication, and with the whole rail team. Um, last but not the least, I would like to uh, Uh, to address my special thanks to Marius for his excellent work as a chair of ECA, for his discipline and punctuality, for his responsiveness. I wish you, Marius, all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you all once again, and I'm looking forward to see you again soon. Thank you, dear Lydia. I also wish to congratulate you once again for uh, being elected in this very important post. And I would like to wish you and the newly elected executive committee success and uh, work well on the issues that really affect the region. Thank you. Now, I would like to call Mr. Nabil Tanji for the final remarks and give him the floor. Mr. Nabil Tanji is the officer in charge for the regional office for Europe and Central Asia. Mr. Tanji. Thank you very much. Marius, you join my voice to everyone who has congratulated you and was thank you for your diligent work again with the XCOM and as the chair of probably the longest ECA session that uh, we have seen and probably the one that has deployed as, you know, the highest number of uh, uh, voting processes. I'm looking at the elections officers and hopefully he will probably also have something for him, for his uh, for his record as probably not only the ECA session, but uh, the whole uh, uh, governance. So I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to thank the membership, both who are here and who have attended in person in the session Budapest, as well as the virtual session today. And I wish the new chair the best of luck. And we are all here to support her on her new assignment. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and back. Mr. Kanji, I thank you very much for your intervention and your nice works, and I also wish you all the best in the future works of the regional office, including ECA of Europe. Now, we're nearly there. Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, I thank you again for your patience, persistence, and constructive participation in the session. 
Many special thanks to the interpreters for supporting us again and for more time that anticipated. Particular thanks to the Secretariat, especially to Mr. Piotr Kovacic, Ms. Zofia, Kovac, and Ms. Eniko Poti for their continued support and the excellent preparation of background documents for the meeting of the Executive Committee, as well as to Mr. Nadim Kanji for their dedication, support, and for the Executive Committee, over, not only over the last two years, over the last almost five years that have been part of uh, the Executive Committee, and throughout the preparations for this session. I'm happy to declare the 43rd session of the European Commission on Agriculture closed. Thank you all, and I wish you a pleasant afternoon.